observe, watch, and listen. Often we jump very fast into parenting. I'm a parent myself because there's things that are happening that we're overwhelmed and filtering. Take a step back. Daniel Siegel, well-known parenting expert, says the same thing. He says, literally, take a step back. Observe, watch, and listen. What do you see? What do you hear? What are you feeling in your own body? And express it out. I'm sensing there's a lot of tension right now. There's a lot of stress right now. I'm sensing you're very upset right now. What can I do to support you? If the child doesn't know, think of the five A's. Maybe just sit with them. Let's sit down or let's take a walk or let's have a drink of water or let's take a time out for a moment and slow down. Again, thinking of how the brain impacts behavior. When the brain is flooded, guess what? The body's going to be flooded. And that child, what gets repressed must be expressed. And children are attempting to repress because most kids want to do good. Skill number four, shame fuels inner self-rejection. Now, children who experience trauma or separation from their families believe it was their fault. Children are egocentric. A lot of kids feel like, if my birth mother gave me away, there must be something wrong with me. How could any mother give away her baby? This is child language. And I often tell kids, your birth mother didn't give you away not politically positive adoption language. It's there was a plan made for adoption or there were circumstances in your mother's life at that time that she could not parent any baby born on your birthday due to, if it's mental illness, mental illness. I wish someone told me that my mother had mental illness. No one told me anything. You know what I told myself? She didn't love me. She didn't want me. And I have a birthmark on my leg. And because I wasn't in therapy until I was 13, and I kept telling myself, because I learned that when you're born, you're born with birthmarks. So I told myself, and it's a big birthmark, this is why she didn't want me. This is what was wrong with me. Now think about that. I held this inside for years. This was my story. I was not wanted because of my skin. There was something wrong with me. And that, for me, fueled low self-esteem. When I was adopted at seven and a half, because I was in foster care for six years, I kept asking my mom, when are you going to give me away? When are you going to give me away? I didn't believe I was adopted. I didn't even understand I was adopted. I had the worst self-esteem. I felt terrible about myself because not only was I removed from my birth family, I was separated from my foster family, who then really validated See how unlovable you are? And now I'm an adult and I can explain these things so people understand. These experiences matter to us. So shame is directed towards the self. It believes the self is all bad. Guilt is directed towards the behavior and the distress that it caused for the other person. So what happens when you 